it also happens uh, due to natural causes when we have earthquakes, new hot springs may open and uh, old ones may die. And uh, this just happened to cut through the road here. So it's temporary we have to close the road. It's often said now that Iceland was settled by Vikings, but I, I think that it's true that Iceland was settled by people who didn't want to go Viking. ESOR is the biggest institute in the world that mainly focuses on, on geothermal. It used to be in the New Zealand and the USA, they developed geothermal energy, but then there was a fallback for, for lack of interest in the geothermal, and they are now paying the penalty. Cucumber greenhouse is controlled by computer. I believe that in the future we will look at the past century as being the 30th century of fossil fuels. Well, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Iceland we have a Department for Natural Resources and Environment and that's because those issues are becoming so important in international politics that uh, we cannot uh, solve any of those major problems or issues that the world is discussing today without taking into account the uh, necessity of sustainable development of, and the sustainable use of natural resources, including energy. I'm working uh, not only with, with cod, which is a, a cold water species, but uh, also working with uh, turbot flatfish, flatfish which is, uh, requires temperatures that go uh, 
well up to 25 degrees when they're very small and uh, that's where the, our geothermal hot water comes in and uh, we have uh, been uh, successful in uh, uh, breeding uh, turbot. Milpi drilling is uh, an experimental drill hole, research and development we call it. And there will be, in addition to normal drilling, we will also take a lot of drill cores for scientific studies. And there will be a lot of people involved in uh, studying these uh, deep drill holes. And uh, once the drill hole has been completed, it has to heat up and we will build up, uh, it will build up a pressure and then we have to open the well and under controlled setting, so we take uh, the steam out of the well and test it, both for chemistry and for power. We intend to find hot steam, 500 degree hot steam, and bring that up to the surface, at probably at pressures about 200 bar pressure, so very high pressure, very hot, high pressure steam. Uh, that was the uh, basic idea to uh, use it first for electricity, but we don't know how much chemical will be in the fluid. There may be some valuable uh, chemicals in the fluid because the, uh, it, the such hot fluid dissolves more elements. So there may be some elements that we like to test, possibly use as well, but that is part of the resource. If we succeed, it could lead to uh, more production of electricity. But at the moment, it is a resource project. The future, you are taking uh, maybe 100 megawatts out of each of these systems. Uh, we are asking question, can we take 200, 300, 400 or 500 megawatts out of these systems? Is it that simple? Uh, we know they are not endless resource, but we know that there is more there. And if we, if we take it deeper and hotter, it may be more economic to, to get it hotter and deeper. But, but first we have to see if we can get any fluid out of the system. So this is a, a hot seawater or cooling water coming from the uh, power plant. So we take cold seawater, pump it up to the power plant, uh, take the heat from the steam after it has gone through the turbines, and then we mix it with water from the hot water uh, drill holes as well. The, the effluent water, mix it and uh, expel it into the sea four cubic meters per second of uh, clean so uh, geothermal water plus seawater and uh, it, it would be beautiful just to use this hot water for uh, cultivating algae for instance and uh, fish put up some fish farms. The big uncertainty is does the rock have any permeability? Is there any water or steam flowing through the rock. It will be hot. There can always be accidents, but uh, this is maybe for the engineers to answer. And uh, certainly <coughs> the technology exists that we can drill and there are very high pressures and at very high temperatures. Another thing that we should be cautious about is if we get super critical fluids, if we get fluids uh, above critical temperature and pressure, as it's called. And these fluids may be acid and corrosive, and we may not simply like them. I don't know. I don't think that uh, with this deep drilling that uh, we are playing with fire. There may always be accidents of blowout, but if this happens when we are drilling, it is almost certain that the well will collapse and the flow from it will cease by itself.